TED Ed is essentially the opportunity for kids to research and develop their own informative speech, essentially. And some of them are a little bit more persuasive, some of them are just strictly informative, but it's an opportunity for middle school kids to develop their public speaking skills. I'm going to be talking about the thought process and how we come up with our ideas. Yeah, I don't think we knew what we were going to get when we first started no. it. I think we thought we'd have a lot of kids that would do you know, speeches about dogs are better than cats and things like that. And then in the first year we had things like uh, why you should speak a second language, uh, human trafficking, uh, why kids should be politically involved, a wide gamut of, of things. And the students were really impressive with how much work they did each time. And these were, you know, fifth to eighth graders who were really, really giving it everything they had. Yeah, we start with the question of what's an idea worth sharing? Right, so that's the very first question we ask them because a lot of times they know what they care about. They can't figure out why it's important to share that idea with someone else. Middle school kids especially, they feel like it's a really grown up program. They're coming in and they're researching and they're with cool college students who are helping them out and that pulls them in too. That just makes it seem more than what they normally do in their school setting. The partnership with JMU is a big piece of that. What we've seen with, with TED Ed, and I think we see this with a lot of JMU uh, students that volunteer, is they're impacted as much as, as they provide impact. Proximity and age really helps build a bond. There's a level of trust there that I observed, and I think a level of support where the, the JMU students were able to really empathize with the middle school students. The kind of kid who's attracted to a TED Talk class is the kind of kid who wants to explore these things and wants to do the research and put the work into it. But we've had some kids who have clearly signed up because their parents thought they should sign up. Oh yeah, that's and a true lot, And a lot of times those are the kids that have grown the most. If you ever get a chance, you should go see a TED Ed final presentation. It's done in an auditorium setting. It's much more formal. You know, typically in the practice time, we're in the Explore More Discovery Museum. It's a small room. It's very informal. But the final presentation, they're up on stage. Everyone has dressed up, and and they're there to perform and to watch them do their thing. Even if it's not the best presentation in the history of humankind, it's an achievement for them. For suburban areas far away from kids that age still want to play but they want to play in a way that is real they are coming together they're doing this and then they're getting on a stage and giving a talk to people in the community we have them write papers and we have them talk in front of a class more than they normally get to do it's an incredibly supportive atmosphere and i think everyone feels like at the end of it that they really had accomplished something and I think you see that, you know, the kids are standing a little taller and they're very proud of what, and des deservedly so, they're very proud of what they've done and they've really shown what they're capable of. They're gonna be able to take this experience and build on it. Being able to speak in front of people is an essential skill um, and getting them confident doing that from a very young age is really important.